have a mom or cracker. There you go. Very good. Hello everybody, we are back and I am doing a collective diaper review of my what I thought. And um, so I'm not going to base it on price, I'm not going to tell prices or anything. And I'm just going to um, show you what I liked and disliked about each diaper um, based on the diaper itself. So I'm going to do um, each diaper from the worst of my opinion to the best of my opinion and I'm going to tell what I like and what I don't like. You can always fast forward and I'll tell you at what point in the video in the description if you want to skip ahead to that particular diaper. So the first diaper that I did not care for that would be I would this would be the last choice was the loves diaper. I like what I do um like about this diaper is that the back is completely straight. There's no stretch and then all the stretch is in the tabs and it's really stretchy and these are just like pampers so I really like that but I did not like the smell that this has right now it's been out for a long time several months so the smell is like way less than what it is normally when you first open it but it made me have headaches like every time I change a diaper my head would hurt even worse so I just like couldn't use it. Usually you don't use a diaper because it hurts your baby, but it hurt my head with the smell. And the inside, I didn't really care for the blue color for some reason. I was shocked because with my son, it wasn't blue. So that's that. Let's see. The next one, and I have, they are everywhere all over the place because she was messing with them. So whatever. Um, but I want to do this because these she's about to outgrow, so I'm going to just have her wear all of these so that way we don't waste them. So um, the next one is the Snug and Dry from Huggies. And what I like about these is, I guess, the line. I like the Mickey Mouse. <laughs> that doesn't really matter. Um, and that's it. I didn't really like this one at all. I don't like the tabs because right here it's scratchy and I cannot stand this, this stretch of the back. I just, just don't like it. It's hard to put under and stay while she's moving around. And then when she wore it too long, the inside came out onto her and I didn't like that. So these did not go well with me. Um, Annie, stay in here. I'm looking for my paper. So the next diaper is the Natty or Nature Baby Care. And I had a sample pack of these. And that's the diaper. Um, one thing I did like was the door, is that the back is straight and flat, just like the Pampers. And then also like the Pampers, the tab stretch. And they're really soft, but not as stretchy as the Loves or Pampers, but it's still good. Like she's wearing one right now. So I like how it was laid flat when you put it under the baby. It just makes it a lot easier. What I did not like was the back of it is like paper. It's like a paper. What? Come here. So I did, didn't really like that. I prefer, I prefer it to be a little softer. Also what I didn't like is when you pull the tabs, there's like a sticky, and it, it, it loses its sticky very easily, but it also has Velcro, so I don't really understand that. Um, the inside was pretty absorbent, you know, we would just use this for the house, though. This going out wasn't really the best quality. So that was that, and I'll be right back, okay? Alright, we are back. I had to nurse this one. She feels better now. So the next diaper on our list are the cuties diapers. Now these are the old version of the cuties. They have a new design that I would really like to try, but it's just not wor worth it right now. We have plenty of diapers. But, um, so this one, I'm trying to think what I do like about this, this version of this diaper are the tabs. They're just like Pampers. I love this soft tab. 
And even though it has a little bit of stretch in there, it still lays pretty flat. Um, so, yeah, I do like that. Um, what I did not like about this diaper is when she peed, it was time to change. Like, you couldn't get more than one pee out of it. And then, um, what else? There was another thing. Oh, also, like, they were, like, right now it seems really soft, but there was a like, batch that were, like, super, like, stiff. This has been out of the package with all the other diapers, so I don't know. But this was super stiff. So, I don't know why it was stiff, but I did not like that. So, you had to kind of go like, before you put it on her. And it was, like, just real stiff, like, right here. And so, I just didn't really care for that. The softness isn't too bad, though. All right, the next. I don't even know where my. Oh, my paper. All right, guys, sorry about that. Um, so, the next diaper is the Well Beginnings from uh, Walgreens. And I have that over here. They're all over the place. So, here is the Well Beginnings diaper from Walgreens. Um, so, what I liked about this, again, it has the little elastic, but it still, when you put it under your baby, it stays flat. So that was nice, and then the tabs are really big, but really soft and pretty stretchy. So that's good. Um, the absorbency is really thick, reminds me of kind of like Target, but you can like feel the beads inside, kind of like the loves, you could feel the beads inside. So I didn't really care for that. And then also when you open these diapers, the chemical smell was crazy. So yeah, I didn't really care for that. Let's see, the next was Abby and Finn, which I have up here. Here's the Abby and Finn. This is actually the size 5. Um, we still have a whole bunch of these, but we just finished the size 4. And there's two, there's actually three prints, but this is one of the prints. Um, the back, okay, so what I liked about them was the tabs were soft, but they didn't stretch. So that's what I like and didn't like. The back had a little stretch, but it wasn't to the point where it was hard to put under the baby. Um, and then, but when she peed, like you had to change her right away, or else she would get really red. So that's another thing I did not like about the diaper. Um, so yeah. The next one is the Huggies Overnight. Now, I'm not really comparing overnight versus day. I'm just comparing diaper in general. So you have the Huggies Overnight. What I liked was it had these that kept it together, that stayed together, because I can't stand when it gets all crooked and stuff. So that's nice, but at the same time, it's kind of hard to get it on. So it's kind of frustrating. Um, it's pretty thick. It actually did work really well overnight, but we found a better one. What I do not like is these tabs are really thick, yeah, but like the sides are very like scratchy. And then also what I don't like is this stretch because like it just folds in on it, on you. And especially when you, if you have a poop here, it's folding in on you. It's hard to do it. It's, a, it's annoying. You know, it's just one of those small little details. You know, like overall, like if somebody gave me a pack of them, of course I would use them. But like I wouldn't just say, hey, let's get these. Like I wouldn't pick these. So um, then like... I thought since I was paying a high quality price that it was going to be soft, but it it was the same like the snug and dry. It wasn't that soft, so it was kind of the for me. The next one were the Pampers Pure, um, which we got. These we did not pay for. We got a sample of these. Um, what I liked about these was the classic Pampers design where it's flat on the back. And of course, I love the tabs. I love they're soft and stretchy. But what I don't like is the mesh inside. That mesh just makes it nasty. I just don't like it. These are very cloth-like, and I do like that also. So really, the only thing I just don't like is the mesh. You want more? Okay. She wants more of these. She likes these. 
Here you go. Um, here, sit over here. Okay. So, I mean, there are no K diapers, I just don't like the mesh. The next one are the Huggies Little Ooh. Snugglers, the bigger size. Um, and the movers. Huggies movers, which I need to find them. Hold on. She put them somewhere. Uh, one second. Okay, I found them. So the Huggies movers and the snugglers to me are identical. Um, the only difference that I can tell is the way it looks. So you have the snuggler, you have the mover. Um, they both have this elastic back. And I'm not, I just don't like the elastic backs. They fold in on each other, but they're pretty big. They're really soft. They're both, they're exactly the same, just different colors, honestly. Like, I didn't see any major difference uh, between the two. So if you have a, if you know what the difference is, you let me know, because I don't. Now, the inside, there's, like, circles, whereas the movers have, like, this other quilted. So, of course, I like this, but at the same time, it's kind of tricky to get it. So it takes a little bit longer to put on. So if you're out in public, maybe this would be just for at home. I don't know. If, it, if you're trying to hurry up, it's tricky. You okay? Um, and then... The tabs are like all huggy diapers. They're very rough. And yeah, so I don't really like that. They're rough. So they're very soft. I like that. Here, Annie. Okay, so the next diaper on the list are. Target overnights and once we got into the like Pampers Pure I kind of I like these so I'm getting into the liking more so the Target overnight and the Target regular so I'd say I like the Target overnight a little less so the Target overnight was was okay for overnight and it was great for during the day too because I used them both it kind of reminds me of the Pampers Baby Dry. It's really like thick. It's got the stretch, which didn't bother me because it laid flat. And then, of course, these tabs are super soft, just like the Pampers. And I really like that. What I didn't like is the smell when you open the box was just like the Well Beginnings, just really chemical, and I didn't like that. After a while, the smell went away, but I just didn't really care for that. Um, so, yeah, that, that was pretty much it on that. Um, then we have the Target. This is the size 2. I don't know how. I, we haven't bought past size 2. But one thing I like, it, it lays flat despite having this little elastic. And I like that. And then the tabs are really stretchy. The inside's pretty soft. It, like, as far as, like, a store brand diaper, this is the best one for us. And I like that it has the tabs. Um, as far as a con, I wouldn't say there's any... This is perfect. I wouldn't give any complaints over this diaper. I mean, it, maybe they could make it prettier. But other than that, it's a good diaper. So, let me see. Did I write any cons for this? I didn't write any cons for this one. The next one would be the Baby Dry from Pampers. I love that the back is flat and then it has those stretchy tabs. Love that. Um, it, they do have a smell which it doesn't bother me as much as like the Loves did. Um, and then the way it absorbs is my like one of my favorite features of it because it has those three channels which it makes it kind of even out the pee especially if you're going somewhere it's just absorbs the pee and you can just like we can go somewhere and I don't have to worry about changing her if she were to pee in like the snug and dry I would have to change her so that's what I like about these what I didn't like is that the, the quality just doesn't feel good like it's not very soft like I feel like the target one's a lot softer but these have the three channels, so I would go with this one over the Target. 
Or at least going out. If it's just at home, then I would go for the Target. Um, so then the my two favorite that we have left. Let me make sure. Okay, yeah, because I have other diapers laying around. Would be, this is my, one of my favorites, the Cruiser. It has the three channels just like the other one, but it's so much softer. And, of course, it has that flat back, and then the tabs are super soft and super stretchy. The tabs are actually wider. Everything's a little bit wider than the Baby Dry. Um, the, so, the inside is soft, and it absorbs so perfect. Like, you could wear it, put this on, and go out and not have to worry about anything. So, I really like that. Um, I'm trying to think of cons. I don't see any cons in that one. And then my favorite diaper for day and night would be the parasol. Parasol is so super soft. I do have some cons about the parasol though, which I didn't have cons about this one, but I do about this. So um, what I like about it is it's so super soft. It's like pillow, like a pillow. Um, what I like is the this front really wraps around your baby. So that's really good. Um, and then it absorbs so well at night, wake up in the morning, the baby is just like dry on the butt, like there's no, um, like dampness, and that's great. And then also the leg gussets are like super double, like they're double the amount of like all the others. They're like this, the leg gussets are like this. So that's good for blowouts if you have, like she doesn't have blowouts anymore. So that's that. Now my con, and this is like, oh, I hate this, but at the same time, we're just using this for night, so it's not a big deal. This back is like so like elasticy, and that's the only elastic that you have. So once the tabs are out, there's no elastic, and I don't like that. I wish that it was like flat, and then the elastic, but it makes it hard to put on her. And then the wrap around her, especially when she's moving. So, parasol, make it flat. <laughs> but, I mean, it's still my favorite diaper overall. Um, so, after all these and everything, she's a year old. We still have, like, a whole another year of diapers. We're going to go with the cruisers for the day, the parasol at night, and then... We might in between get the like Target ones. So yeah, I have to get use all that stuff. I have been collecting all that um, for a while now. There's some like the Target. I don't know if I can get this on her. We'll try to fit this on her because um, it's a size two actually, and she's in a size four, but she's wearing like a three in the in this, um, but. We're going to use all these. Oh, no. I forgot two diapers. Oh, I'm so sorry. Let's backtrack. Um, so, my favorite are the cruiser and the pampers. I mean, cruiser and the parasol. I forgot. Right before that, I have two other ones. Tippy toes. Like, I put them off to the side. And then on here, I wrote it off. So, we've got the tippy toes, which these are really expensive. These are bamboo. Really nice. This is the last... One of, no, I actually have a couple. Uh, I have like two that I'm saving for my friend Mercedes. I'm going to send those to her um, to try because she hasn't got to try these. So I'm going to actually send her my last two, but they're the smaller size. And this is my last of the bigger size. But this is like all bamboo. These absorb really well. The back is flat but it still has a little stretch they're super soft not as soft as the parasol but they're almost there and the tabs are really soft not too stretchy so but these are a good diaper and then the one I like a little bit better and they're super cute are um, from poof and they have that line which a lot of these don't but what are you doing any anyway. anyway the only thing is so I like, okay, so these are like the bamboo also, and they're super, this diaper is so thick, and this other diaper is really thick, but like this one is so thick. So you have your normal, like say Target, and then like, look how thick that is. 
But I like it. Like, I like it thick like that. So, it's really soft. And then it does have that stretch, too. But it still lays flat. Um, the price on these are outrageous. I got these, actually, I got this free. So, I didn't pay for it. Um, but this is really sharp. But when you put it on your baby, it doesn't, the way you do it, it doesn't touch your baby. Now, the other ones do. So, that's one thing, that's one thing that I'm like, well, I'm not sure about. But I still like it since it doesn't. And then the tab is a little bit different. So, I kind of like that. So, yeah, poof. So, sorry about that. I'm going to put it in there. Um, I'll put it the order, though. So, yeah, so all these fit her. So, we're going to go ahead and use them up. I just wanted to collect them so that way I could do one big collective review. Now... I wanted, there was some other diapers I didn't get to try. So there is, she is so cute over there. <laughs> Let me show you. Don't mind that trash can. Look at her. Annie, say hi. Say hi. Hi, hi. Terry. Bye. <laughs> so... The diapers that I wanted to try were, I had a coupon for Baby Gannix, but I didn't have enough. Like, it was for a smaller amount. So we didn't try Baby Gannix, and then we got a coupon for Earth's Best, and the package that we was required for the coupon, uh, hold on one second. So the package that you had to get for Earth's Best was a small package and we don't have that here where I live. So I didn't get to try Earth's Best, but I've heard that they're terrible, so whatever. Come here, come here. She wants to go outside. <laughs> what are you doing? Um, another one that I saw online, come here. Come here. The other one I saw online was called Happy Farmer, but the price is outrageous. I'm not going to buy it. And then there was another one. Hmm, I can't think of it, but there's so many different diapers out there. Hopefully, I helped you out in the type of things I like versus what you might like, and hopefully you can make a decision. And I personally like trying new diapers because it's fun and so hopefully <clears throat> you like this video. I need to get going. She's crazy. She's so cute. Look at her. She's trying to look out there so she can go because she just saw Terry. So <clears throat> I better let you guys go. Thank you for watching. And hopefully you're watching past this video. Like hopefully if you got to this point at 17 minutes, uh, then you must really like me. So. Uh, oh, one more thing. I have a new channel and it's called Cooking Made Simple. And uh, if you want to subscribe, uh, just go ahead and subscribe there. And so we'll see you next time. Oh, I hope you like my new haircut. All right, bye.